<laughs> it's, it's been a while. It's a good thing, right? <laughs> guys are really close. A couple weeks removed from your last fight. Yeah. In retrospect, how, how do you feel about it? What went wrong? Uh, you know, I feel like <clears throat> coming to the UFC, moving up new uh, weight class, finding the top tier of the of the division, uh, it's just a bit of a learning curve. And um, every fight you go into, you have you have to know that it's you can't compare it to any of your fights prior. Um, but that's easier said than done. And um, <clears throat> there is there are things that I take away from it that I did really well, and there are things that I take away from it that I could have done better. And um, I was improving on my boxing, and I really wanted to prove to myself that I could stand and, and throw, and I'm really proud of myself for doing that, but there were other things that I wish I could have done, and, um, you know, that's why that's why I have some more fights on my contract to do that. After the fight, I noticed on uh, your Instagram stories, yeah. which are often very entertaining, that you were very emotional. You were talking about, like, you know, hugging your family and spending time, and I don't know if there was <coughs> for meaning to all of that, or if you were... No, there was one in your car, you remember? It was like five in a row and you had a black eye. Yeah. And uh, well, what, what were you trying to say to your fans? Or what were you trying to express? Um, sometimes I think that as, a, like in, as an athlete and as a fighter, I can be consumed and really selfish about my career. <laughs> and um, at the beginning of my camp, my father-in-law got in a really bad accident and um, was in the hospital. And... Um, they were telling us that he wouldn't be able to walk and um, doing all his rehab and stuff. And it really put things into perspective for me because I get to wake up every day and get out of bed and, and do what I love. And um, I just think it's important to sometimes take a step back and uh, appreciate the things you have and appreciate the people that are in your life and, and to cherish every second you have with them because you never know what's going to happen. Um, he is <clears throat> he's doing better he's um, at home now and uh, we're still working on the rehab and we're we're just we're just trying to be in his corner because he has a big fight ahead of him so now we're just being ahead of his corner being in his corner and just trying to be supportive you know you also said before uh, the fight that after the fight with Rose you kind of had to regain your love for mixed martial arts or martial mm -hmm. arts are you processing this loss? Do you feel the same way? Or? I, um, I know the reason why I lost is um, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm proud of myself for the way I fought, but I know that the reason why I lost is because I, I was restricting myself from some of the things that I could have done. Um, and that does kind of reignite my passion for, for fighting. Um, it's like a constant search for who I need to be as a, as a fighter. And, and the minute you think you've learned something new, something else falls off. And that's why I love martial arts so much is because it takes so much for it to all come together. And um, it was kind of a hard pill to swallow. I've never, fought, I've never lost two in a row. And um, it's just it's not something that, that settles well in your stomach, um, especially around the holidays when you want to come home and and spend time with your family and, and celebrate and but uh, that's life <laughs> and um, I, I'm grateful for the opportunity I know that I went out there and I did well Tisha's you know a, a highly ranked fighter she's going off to, to to fight big names as well and and I'm just um, proud to say that I that I got in there and, and threw down with her so when you look at the growing state of the women's divisions in the UFC you came from out of me how much do you think that that division would, I think, they, a good one to have? Um, I think they should add a lot more weight classes, especially for the women, because uh, we, we hold on to weight differently than men do, and if you give um, the women a division to flourish in where they're not having to struggle to, to add muscle, to, to cut weight, then um, they're going to show up. 
you know, I, I think we've we've done a good job at, at, at coming into the UFC and and showing that that we're just as passionate as, as everybody else. Get, you know, give them the platform to, to to show their skills and abilities, and they're going to show up every time. So, would you ever consider going back to London if it were here in the UFC? Um, I don't know. I, I guess um, you, you, you can never, I'll never say never, um, but I do feel comfortable at 115. Um, I worry less about cutting weight and worry more about training, and I think that's more important, and I'd, I'd rather I take that advantage. But um, like I say, never say never. If the division opens and it's a good opportunity for me, then, then see where it takes me. superstar almost you're on MTV and body armor and stuff but in the cage it hasn't gone through. how would you describe this year how, how, does it feel like um, a mix of emotions yeah a hundred percent you know um, fighting is my passion martial arts is my passion um, but I also understand that it's important for me to take advantage of this platform that I'm on so that I can build my brand so that when I'm done fighting I have um, something to fall back on um, but with that being said, I I look forward to getting back in the win column and, and climbing back up the ranks and, and making that my priority. How soon do you think you will back to Japan? I'd like to fight um, March, if I could. And the names? Um, I'm really looking forward to watching the bout tonight between Carla and uh, Cynthia. I think either one of those girls would be a fun match between me. Um, also, you know, I know Felice has been on a four-fight win streak. You know, her and I kind of grew up in the sport together. I think that would be an entertaining fight. Um, but at this point, I just want to get in the win column. So, so we'll see who they give me. Yeah. Would you agree with that? I mean, if Molly gets it done. One hundred percent. I I believe that. Um, well, <clears throat> I might be biased because Holly's like one of my best friends, but um, I know I know what she does behind the scenes that nobody else gets to really see. And to me, she's already the goat because I, I get to see her worth ethic. I get to see her, you know, um, on her highs, and I get to see her on her lows. And um, in all instances, she is. An, an amazing person, an amazing athlete, and somebody that I aspire to be. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Thank, Thank you. Michelle.